Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So in this video, I wanna go over Sprott's third quarter earnings results, which just came out last Friday and very good results um, as I was expecting. So in this video, we're gonna go through how they performed and what their expectations are going forward. So for a quick recap of the quarter, assets under management, again, which is the key thing you really wanna look at for an asset management company like Sprott, it's the assets under management where they get the fees from. That's really what drives the revenues and ultimately their earnings for the company. So we saw this increase 17% from June 30th, 2020, the second quarter. So this is 17% growth in one quarter, not even um, you know year over year. It's one quarter growth, which is extremely good. We also saw total net revenues grew 82%. And this is year over year. So compared to the third quarter of 2019, 82% increase in revenues, which is just explosive growth. And then we can see that the expenses also increased 85%. And that is because of a number of factors, mostly because of the acquisition they made last year of um, another gold fund and the expenses that are associated with that. And then additionally, net income, 8.7 million, which is an increase of 4.4 million from the three months in 2019 and then adjusted base EBITDA, which is what the management guides to for tracking the performance of the company. This is really what you wanna look at. The adjusted base EBITDA is up 58% year over year. So overall, very strong performance for the company, extreme growth on revenue, um, You know, the EBITDA, net income. And another welcome sign is we now see an 8.7% increase to the company's dividend. And so I'm not someone that's only a dividend investor. I don't invest just for dividends, but Sprott does offer one of the highest dividends for any gold company out there. And we'll take a look at that later in this video. As of right now, it's over 3%, and that is pretty much the best you're gonna find in any gold company. And I am expecting that dividend to continue increasing in the future. So now we're gonna take a look at the Seeking Alpha article um, this author, Bang for the Buck, has done a number of write-ups for Sprott, and they're all very good. So I'm going to walk you through this to see what other information we can get on this earnings report. So the first thing is the assets under management. This is a nice chart showing it, showing that this was really the inflection point. Quarter four of 2019, um, even before the, the pandemic and the shutdowns, we saw gold starting to make its move up. And every quarter since then, we've seen inflows into Sprott which I think is really going to drive them going forward. Now, despite these good earnings, the stock price has gone down. That is something we'll talk about. You know, what I'm doing as a result of that. The next thing we can take a look at is the exchange listed products, asset under management. So this is the things like the physical gold trust, the physical silver trust, which are Sprott's biggest products, and then also the equity ETFs. We can also see the asset under management for those has increased nicely as well over the past year and will probably continue. And here is a chart relating the adjusted base EBITDA to assets under management. And this is something I did myself on my first video talking about Sprott. I'll put a card up to it right now, where if you plot the adjusted base EBITDA and the assets under management, they are very closely correlated. So again, the driving factor for this company is the assets under management. That is going. That is what is going to adjust the earnings. All right, so the dividend. So like I said, Sprott has one of the highest dividends for a gold company right now sitting at 3.4%. And if you compare that to gold mining companies like Barrick Gold, 1.4% and Newmont, which is 2.5%, or even the royalty companies, you know, and even though I would say there's not really many direct competitors to Sprott in terms of what they do, I would put them in the basket of streaming companies and royalty companies, just because that's what I think their business model is most similar to. But even compared to those, Sprott's dividend yield is three times as much as Whedon Precious Metals, which is a royalty company. And this is an extremely safe dividend in my opinion. In my opinion, I don't see any reason for it to be cut in the future. And so I think this is gonna be something that attracts a lot of investors as investors are getting interested in investing into gold and gold companies. This is one they're gonna be drawn to just because of the high dividend. And now we can get to the valuation. Um, you know, again, for gold companies, net income, not really the best way to value them. Same with cash flow, operating cash flow. I mean, you can use that, it'll work, but usually it's gonna be some form of EBITDA. And if you take a look at Sprott compared to these other gold companies in terms of enterprise value to EBITDA, which is a common valuation metric, you can see that they're right in the middle of the gold miners like Barrick Gold, Newmont Mining, and the royalty companies like Whedon and Franco Nevada. Now, personally, like I said, I think their business model is a lot more similar to the royalty companies compared to the mining companies, considering that Sprott isn't in a capital intensive industry like gold mining. Instead, they just have the gold, keep it in the storage where they, they keep it in the Royal Mint of Canada. 
and then they just earn fees off of that. I think that's a lot more similar to the royalty companies. And because of that, I think the valuation should be trading up in line with those. And so what we can see is uh, Sprott's EV to EBITDA is a 15 right now compared to Whedon is 23, Franco Nevada is 27. So I think Sprott could eventually trade up to call it a 25 enterprise value to EBITDA multiple. That would be a significant increase from today's prices. Now, the last thing we're going to look at is the stock price, because despite this good earnings result, really all year for Sprott, ever since the beginning of this quarter, we've seen the stock in a downtrend where they hit a high of around $42, $43 back at the beginning of September. But ever since then, they've really been sliding downwards. And when I first bought into the stock, I think my first buy was just under $40, $38, $39. In my first video talking about Sprott, I said I would start a small position and I would continue averaging in if the price continued to go down, which it did, and I'm happy it went down. And right now the stock is resting right at the 200 day moving average, right at around $30. It has been consolidating for the past couple of weeks. And so I personally think this is a very good buying opportunity. And that's why I've bought it more into Sprott over the past couple of weeks in this $30 area, really lowering my average cost. And I think there's the potential for huge gains if gold goes where I think it's going to go over the next number of years. Now on these earnings results, we saw a pop in the stock price, but the stock sold off during the end of the day and is now back in that trading range. So, um, you know, this may be the point where we see the uptrend continue or we might see more consolidation. Either way, I'm being patient. And, you know, I know in the long term, Sprout is going to be worth a lot more than it is now because it's a high quality company paying a nice dividend with a very strong management team and the gold industry and the gold asset management industry really has a lot of tailwinds behind them that is going to really help out this company in the upcoming months and years. So that's all I have to say about Sprott's third quarter earnings results. Let me know down in the comments section if you're invested in any gold or silver stocks and how you think they're going to perform over the next couple of years. I look forward to see what you have to think and so that's it for this video. If you found something of value, hit the like button to help out my channel. If this is your first time here, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so you don't miss a new video. And that's it for now, so I'll see you next time.